This is Alex, um, continuing um, what is going to be a probably a three-part product review. Um, I also, when I uh, this week ordered um, some um, some new Peterson picks because I broke a number of my older ones, um, and uh, I had seen um, Wattasy too, um, really loving his. Uh, uh, gem. Um, so I got a couple different gems. got the slim line. I think one of these is government steel and one of these is carbon steel. Either that or I just wanted to try out the sort of foamy handle, which I kind of like. It's got a nice grip to it. Um, but, um, and then um, the two sort of, um, uh, I'd say aspect ratio one or two uh, um, diamonds, which I use a lot, especially the, the thicker one. So all of the ones with the black steel, these are the slim lines, by the way. All of these other ones are 0.025 inches with pretty standard thickness metal. Um, you know, what you'd expect Peterson, uh, pretty, um, pretty stiff. Um, yeah, this is the government. <laughs> these are the carbon steel, I think. They're a little bit, little bit more flexible, but I found they've been a little bit more durable as well. Um, and then the thin, thin ones are 0.015 inches, which is really thin, but I find that great for some of these Euro locks uh, that, that just, you know, have ridiculously narrow keyways. Um, let me zoom in a little bit and refocus. And I just wanted to talk about the fit and finish on these. Um, which one's a good example? This one. So this is a this is a diamond, okay? And I just want you to. This is pretty smooth. I just want you to listen. I'll bring this up near the camera so you can maybe see, but I want you to really hear because you can. It gives you, I think, a better idea of the 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 finish on the metal. So this is the top edge. Do you hear that? Those are these little tiny ridges from the, I assume from their um, either EDM or laser manufacturing. Okay. This is going to take a bit of work to get to the point where you'd even want to put it in a lock because it's just so scratchy that you have no idea what you're, what you're on. Um, the sides are okay. I mean, not, they're smooth. They're the bare metal. Um, they're okay. Um, similar deal with this, uh, uh, with this gem, not as bad, but actually, yeah, no, there's still plenty of ridges. Um, and I have a couple other ones I got that are just intolerably, um, I mean, this one is just, you can just hear it crunching and I mean, even not as bad right along the tip there, but right in where you want the good feedback right on that curve really scratchy. Um, the Euro profile, get back in focal length there, the Euros are very shiny. I mean I would probably polish that a little bit. Um, and the, you can see little ridges but they're, that sounds pretty smooth, right? It's not sanded very fine, finely, but that's pretty smooth. And the same deal on this guy. You don't hear that click, 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 you hear just sort of a scrape, right? A little bit in here, okay? The Euros, I'd say, are finished better than the, um, let's try focusing, there we go, are finished a little, a lot better, actually, than the other picks, um, or the slim lines, I guess I should call these, um, the thinner metal. You will notice that the shafts are a bit thicker, um, particularly in the in the gem um, they I don't know maybe superficial but I think they're um, maybe ten thousandths thicker to accommodate for the thinner metal okay but the general shape is about the same the aspect ratio is about the same okay so that's nice so I've had good luck with their with their euro uh, or the the um, uh, slim line picks but I really have to say, Peterson, guys, um, you can do better than this. I mean, even if you just 
even if you just had a guy run a file across the top of this a couple times, or sand, throw it in a, you know, a, a tumbler polisher or something, those marks are just stupid. I'm sorry. Um, some of your competitors are doing a much better job at finishing them, and you guys have a great product. Um, but I'm going to have to spend an hour going through all these picks that I bought, um, you know, uh, polishing them up and getting them to the point where I can even even try them, um, try them out and see whether I, how much I like all of them. So, um, you know, great handles, um, good steel, I know that from experience, um, but the, the, um, the government and the, the um, carbon steel really are finished, I'd say, pretty badly. I've bought really cheap um, uh, picks from, you know, probably made in China at a stamped sheet metal that had better finish. Um, the the serrations from whatever process is used to cut them are just horrible. They just scratch through the lock um, and are really unhelpful. So, so that's that. Um, and uh, so overall, I mean, Peterson makes excellent products, but I'm I'm disappointed in the the fit and finish um, of, of them. So. Anyway, this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Have fun, and please keep it legal.